First question will be from John Scott. Sounds good. Hey, Nick, John Scott here from Spectrum News in Buffalo. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, just give me a background on the interactions you had with the Bills throughout this pre-draft process. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, spoke to them at uh, Senior Bowl, like we did with every team, and then um, met again, um, did an informal at um, Combine, then had a few other meetings via Zoom, uh, like in between the time of Combine and uh, Pro Day, and uh, all those went really well. What do you know about and what have the discussions been like maybe for role fit and, and expectations coming in right away? I mean, right away, you know, definitely trying to put my best foot forward. Um, I think for me looking, you know, to play kind of really anywhere, being able to show versatility and kind of playing wherever is needed. You say play anywhere. You played on the interior at Ole Miss, right? Uh, what are your experiences uh, across the line there? So uh, played left tackle. And uh, left guard at Ole Miss, uh, played right guard at Senior Bowl and snapped all through my time at Ole Miss, snapped a bit at Senior Bowl, snapped a bit at Pro Day. Thanks. Congratulations. Yep. Thank you. Hey, Nick. Catherine Fitzgerald with the Buffalo News. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, just to follow up on that a bit, the Bills really love versatility in their offensive line. Is that something they talked about with you? How much did they say that to you? Yeah, definitely. Um, talked about it a lot, you know. Um, especially with such a good O-line, you know, being someone that can really play anywhere, uh, just looking across all five. Um, and then I don't think you missed a game during all of college. Is there anything that lent to that, just durability? I think a lot of it was luck. Um, definitely got lucky there, but um, at Ole Miss, we had such a great, you know, strength staff and training staff that really took care of us and kind of put us in the best positions. And then just what has, you know, today been like for you getting the call and everything? Yeah, it's crazy kind of hearing the phone ring and finally getting the call. I mean, it's definitely, you know, the call you've always dreamed of. Awesome. Congrats. Thank you. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Elena, Elena Getzenberg, Getzenberg, ESPN. Congratulations, as everyone said. Um, I was curious, what were your conversations kind of like with the Bills? Just like what kind of impressions did you get about the team and this offense? Like what were your takeaways from all of your conversations with them? Yeah, definitely. I mean, throughout all the conversations, and kind of as an outsider looking in before this, you know, it was definitely something I really enjoyed and kind of felt like a good fit really from everything, not just like the coaches, but kind of hearing about the players. Um, I know Dawson Knox pretty well, so uh, that'll be cool to kind of get back with him as well. It, Dawson, like, does he come back a lot? Like, how have you kind of gotten to know him? I actually played with his uh, younger brother, Luke. He, at Ole Miss and Dawson would come back and visit and everything. And some of the guys I played with were really good friends with Dawson. So there was always a kind of a lot of common things. Has he talked at all about the bills or anything like that? Like, do you kind of know, has he given you, have you heard from him yet? Like, has he kind Not of yet. You? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, I saw him in Indy when he was here for the comp, when he was there for the combine, I saw him and he was talking about a Jersey swap. So it's kind of funny to see us in the same team now, same locker room. Where, well, last one for me, were you kind of expect hoping that the bills would call or they kind of one of the teams that you were like, were you surprised to see that they called when did the area coach show up Buffalo or like what was, were you kind of hoping they would call? Yeah, definitely kind of really hope for Buffalo. I mean, just seeing all the success they've had lately and how many games they've won, um, definitely on that Super Bowl trend. So, Definitely a really cool call, uh, call to get. Awesome. Congrats again. Thank you. Hi, Nick. It's Jay Skirsky with the Buffalo News. Uh, congratulations as well. Um, last year, you won the Kent Hall Trophy. How much, uh, uh, maybe in winning that, did you learn about Kent? Um, and and I, I'm not to put you on the spot here, but were you aware that he was one of the Bills, uh, you know, best players in Bills history? I honestly wasn't until after I'd won the award. Uh, some of like the history lessons kind of came to be. So before I before I got the award, I, I, I had no idea. I just heard of the award and knew how good he was uh, in Mississippi. I didn't know uh, much about his professional career. Yeah, uh, knowing that now though, and then you know, getting you know, getting drafted by the Bills, does it sort of feel fitting in a way? In a way, yeah, definitely. It feels pretty full circle. It's definitely really cool. Cool and. Uh, the Bills give us this little media guide uh, after you're picked. Can you maybe elaborate a little bit on the Snickers wrapper and what that uh, what that's all about? Yeah, so uh, I played AAU basketball growing up and uh, put a 
uh, Snickers wrapper in my sock before a game and scored 40 points that game. I was like 13, 14 years old and I haven't stopped doing it since. <laughs> okay. Uh, awesome. Well, congratulations <laughs> again. That is hard to uh, that is hard to come behind. <laughs> Nick Brucker, Mookie Hawkins, Buffalo Sports Tonight, man. Congratulations. Thank you. When did you uh, first notice uh, that the Bills were on your radar? I would say during combine, um, just all the conversations we had all throughout the week, and kind of seeing them around, you know, throughout the hotel and everything. Definitely combine. Okay, no, definitely. And uh, something I do see that, you know, you take pride in keeping the quarterback clean. Care to talk about you not allowing a sack, you know, all year and, you know, only gave up two the year prior. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's like you said, you know, that's kind of the biggest thing was always keeping the quarterback clean with the offense that we were running, you know, high scoring offenses, how many great receivers we had and really good quarterback play as well. So um, definitely something I take a lot of pride in. Definitely. Congratulations. Thank you.